What is up everybody, it's Melbro here, having with day two of Get Rich or Die. I left you guys on a cliffhanger of the first episode. I did manage to shoot some of the zombies around, but now the zombies are walking, and, they're, and they've calmed down now. I'm going to take care of the riffraff. I did do some overnight crafting, mostly weapon smithing to get my weapon levels up. Come on guys. There is a nice little uh, bunch of them. Uh, so with all that being said, I'm going to uh, take uh, these guys down, time lapse it for you, and I will be back with you uh, shortly. So I've taken out most of the zombies here, and I'm going to start looting this military base. I did oh, oh, want to say before forgetting that and we are starting off this episode with $69. Nice, uh, but is, uh, we're going to see how much we can get today. You know, maybe get a couple hundred bucks out of old Trayer Bob, but I, I did have a... A comment uh, from one of my episodes in the in uh, Rufus' rampage when, and I'm not going to call their name, well, and say their name, but and I will not uh because and keep in mind I do try to take keep this uh, positive uh, for the most part, and uh, but I felt the need to. Uh, give this comment some light uh, this person was saying that uh, this was on episode well this was on day six of Rufus's rampage like right at the start of an episode and they were commenting about how I only had like level 42 uh, tools and uh, and they were talking about it like you know like oh I love seven days content yo know. And don't get me wrong, but, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, so watching you would be kind of a pain. They were uh, saying this uh, because, uh, it, they have uh, only seen so little of my content, and, and, you know, they were saying, like, you know, like, oh, by day seven I would have a concrete mix and all, and steel and all this stuff, and I'm gonna talk about it, and then, but here is the big kicker. They were just kind of saying this, and, and then they said, hey, keep in mind, I play on 120 minute days. And, and you know, I, I was playing on a map I know fairly well. Here's the problem with this. And, if you are watching this video, and, you know, this is no disrespect to you. I respect people, you know, for however they play the game, and... You, it's your game, you can play however you want, you get enjoyment out of it. And... Oop, shotgun smack. But, back to what I was saying. The... You can play however you like, you're entitled to do it as you wish, uh, but keep in mind Rufus's Rampage was a series suggested by... Uh, by uh, Rufus West. And Rufus, if you're seeing this, yo, thank you very much for suggesting that. And if any others are watching this episode, I highly suggest you you try and to, uh, you know, well, you, can, you, know, you suggest a series for me because I will at least uh, take it into consideration for you. And, and it's like I want this to be about the viewers. But. Keep in mind, like, this is my consideration, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people consider this uh, to be the same. The thing with, uh, seven, the thing with 120 minute days is it's considered to be one of the easiest to, 
uh, ways to play the game because you have so much time. The Roof is a Rampage, it was... Uh, I set the days to 30 minutes because Roof is uh, specifically requested to shorten the days up so I have a uh, sense of urgency to prepare for the Horde. And so I set it to 30 minute days. It is a and it was a challenge series. It is one of those uh, with you playing on uh, 120 minute days. Let me put this into perspective for you guys. You are well, oh, not for you. You are 30 minute days, and you at the time you commented it was within the first minute of the video, and. So that was basically early morning of uh, day six. Got shotgun schematic and leather hood and boots. But I don't mean to get sidetracked there. Just wanted to say that loot yeah, before I said anything no more. But by the time that you and uh, you you're uh, saying that my tools are very poor quality, and it's like day six on that series uh, would basically be. I would have to say about mid to late uh, day, th day three or two, and you know that is a, which isn't bad. Ooh, very nice wrench. Uh, but uh, you know you are uh, saying this, and my apologies. I'm just trying to keep this into consideration. Uh, trying to take into account the sloop, but... And so, basically, what you're saying is, you know, like, oh, I have concrete and steel unlocked by day seven, is... by your, uh, by your, uh, logic, uh, I would, uh, I should have concrete and steel, at least on Roof's Rampage, by day 28. Because 30 minutes uh, is a quarter of what you play. Uh, so... And I play 60 minute days. And you're saying that I might need some starting tips? That very well could be the case, too. But uh, what I'm trying to say here is, you know, you're you're saying this and this stuff, you know, saying that I might need some starting tips. But, uh, like, uh, you, uh, to me, you are playing probably the easiest way to play the game on console version it is to me it's like uh, personally I do not prefer uh, I do not prefer these uh, 102 hour long days because to me that's boring and also it's like uh, that would be a lot of recording time on my uh, for me and it is also a and I like to keep things uh, fresh for content. And this is one of those deals where I am, you know, creating content for people who are enjoying, you know, who would, who want to enjoy stuff and, you know, kind of uh, watch. The, and uh, I don't think everybody realizes, and if you don't realize this, I'm not blaming you. It's like you, it, I am just giving you guys, in, you know, insight to what I'm saying as uh, the content creator. Is it's like I want to create stuff that is enjoyable for you guys. I do. do. So that means balancing out crafting, zombie fighting, and we, and then also base building and and looting. It is one of those that's, you know, like I say, I try to keep this uh, very uh, a positive, but it is one of those deals of, uh, if you are watching this, it's like you are basically playing the equivalent to, you're basically being the person of watching somebody, you know, like, say if I was playing a, a Call of Duty campaign on veteran difficulty, and, and saying that, you know, because I'm dying a lot, that, that I suck. 
and hid that, uh, you know, that I'm, <laughs> but you're playing on Recruit, who was basically the equivalent of, uh, Recruit difficulty. Those of you who probably have not played a Call of Duty campaign and don't know what I'm talking about, that Recruit is the easiest difficulty on a campaign that you can play. It's, and you have uh, generally four different uh, difficulty settings, which is, uh, you have Recruit, Regular, Hardened, and Veteran. Recruit being easiest, Regular is a, basically kind of like your standard difficulty. The Recruit is supposed to be like your, if you're new to a game and, and don't exactly know what you're playing, it's like it's been for you. And then you got Hardened, which is harder than regular difficulty. And then you got Veteran, which is labeled as You Will Not Survive. And it's one of those, you know, it is brutal, especially if you played, uh, like, Call of Duty World at War, which I will admit I did play a lot of recruit difficulty uh, campaigns, but I have played some of the missions on on there. It's like a for veteran difficulty, and it's like, but it's like this viewer is saying that like saying this stuff while they are playing on the lowest difficulty setting. To me, that is it's it's kind of one of those. Uh, I do not I do not claim to be a pro uh, at Seven Days to Die. I do not claim any of this. Keep that in mind. I am just someone who enjoys playing the game, and I am willing to learn a lot about the game. And you know, I'm one to get better. It's like it, <laughs> those of you who've, who've watched me for a while, and I think you would know that I you know in some of my earlier series that I have definitely uh, died a bit when, like, you know, probably other content creators do not. And, but, I am still getting used to this game. It had, I have been a little bit rusty, you know, like, kind of playing it, you know, like, but I am trying to check that rest off. And, again, if you that commented or watching, you know, you're is one of those I pay attention to my comments and I will say that it's like your your play of your style of play is valid is how you want to play but at the same time you're that I I was playing I was playing for a challenge that was requested by Rufus West a viewer and he and so it is a, you're basically calling me out for having low quality stuff for you know, while being on a higher difficulty setting than you. So, and if you don't want to watch my content anymore, then, then that is not a big deal to me. This is one of those, I cannot make everybody happy. I am just trying to do content that I enjoy and I feel that you know, those of you would enjoy. Anyways, we're at old Trayer Bob here. I'm gonna sell this stuff, and I'll be back with you guys in, uh, shortly. And I have sold my stuff up. Uh, I am up to $997, uh, old Dukes. And I don't know if I have gotten any, uh, if I left the other 69 Dukes in my... in my uh, chest or not, but... Maybe it can get a little bit of money. I don't, I don't really want to buy much. It's like the mining element would be tempting if I had the money for it. But that is for another day when you know, I could potentially spend some more money I'll to make money. Now. As the old thing goes, got to uh, break some eggs to make an omelet. Oh, got Mikey over here. Got him with his good old swagger. Come here, buddy. Come here. He just wants to say hello. He's being a good boy. There you go, Mikey. Okay. After that nice little trading trip, uh, I'm going to go back to the military base real quick, and I'm going to uh, go and uh, let's see. Uh, 
can gather some stuff, uh, and I'm going to see if, uh, and, uh, go roam on the road for a little bit. I'll catch up with you once I'm on the road. Well, hey, um, I didn't raid this double back before, but, uh, a nice shotgun and short barrel and short stock and also a machete. Very nice. A little bit of loop. But anyways, uh, back to what I was doing. So I'm running in the general direction of the road here and well I did find this little house out here. Interesting little POI to loot a little bit. Doors unlocked. Um does this give me leather? It does. Um, well, I'm now only... Uh, I'm only... Only one leather off a forge, uh, so... We're looking pretty good here, and... and... So, if I can get a deer and take him out, that would be excellent little progress here. Shouldn't be too far off the road, and I kind of want to follow it in the direction just for a second. There is some gravel roads, so more POIs. Oh, big piggy. Come here, buddy. You ain't escaping me today. There we go. Big piggy's down. They're gonna be very nice, yo. There's the animal hide we need, and but now we could basically craft a forge up. And, like I said, I'm only planning on being on the road briefly, and just to see if I could possibly spot a grid of a town. So there we go. Got the corpse uh, harvested up. I'm just harvesting this up for even more bones, though. There we go. It looks like we got a split in the road. We'll just uh, stop by this car here. Never know, this car might give me a, a mining helmet. Ah, uh, no, nothing at all. Then no big deal. You gotta. It's like Schrodinger's uh, a cat. Is he in the box or uh, like is he alive or dead in the box? You just never know. Now uh, the question is which uh which way on the split roads do I wanna uh, go to? Uh anything in the old car here though. That's uh, just some lead and a sham sandwich. Decisions, decisions. Go I right, both are going uphill, but Hmm Let's take a uh, let's take this road up here. Mike's just going for a stroll. And... If I don't find anything up this, uh, hill here, like I don't spy anything, always search trash. Always do it, because he'll get more scavenger XP. That piece of wood. And uh, shot the tires up for to get mini bike wheels because I can potentially get um, more um, because those are good for uh, selling it early on. Got Nancy and Charlie. Oop, there's a town. Uh, there's a town out there, so just gonna wander over to this road because like, where the other split's going. The town is very nice for loot. I know I left some loot back in uh, the military base, uh, you know, sitting in the storage chest, but hey, that's uh, that's no big deal. It's like I can always just grab that later. Just constantly you know, work on these tires a little bit, get some stones. Yeah. Center blocks are very good for grabbing these up. You get ten. Yeah. 
And this one's... Ooh, got a set. Abec wheel sell for 220 at level 300. And another set. Yeah, I can see like uh, those uh, like uh, sell for 200 bucks. Very nice. I think we're pulled up on town now. Um, would be nice. Would be uh, ideally a crack a book hanging out around here. I run low on the old stamina department. We got Marla. Hi, coming over to say hello. How are you doing, sweetie? Nice to see ya. No thanks, I don't want sham sandwiches. Got a, got a wealthy house. Um, plenty of garbage loot. Let's take it for now, but... The question is, where do I want to set up in? Not for the time being. Hmm. I wouldn't say the wealthy house because we're not exactly wealthy. I guess you could say that because, like, uh, on the old uh, run, you know, I got the old. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm technically the the wealthiest person in the apocalypse, but I guess the traders would beg to differ on that. I got Bob. I was going to continue scouting out town here, and I'll let you know once I find something interesting. So I've been wandering town here, and I did find a poppin' pills, which is great for a while this early on. And it is getting late in the day, so I'm not going to raid the store itself. But, I do I do see a garage here that I want to take up a uh, place uh, to take up residence in. It, you know, figured... Gotta uh, start off simple, you know, like, not exactly the wealthiest at the moment. And so, I'm going to break into here, and I'm going to... And then I'm going to do resource collecting for the night, and... Okay. And I will uh, let you know once I'm on the night time. So I'm on night time here now, and... I wasn't able to collect too much resources because of zombies coming after me, because I got me on my person. Not a big deal, I've taken... A shelter on top of the garage. Uh, I will be making this my uh, base uh, here tomorrow after I get these guys cleared out. And, you know, did start out with $69 today, and I did this. And we are up to 997 now. So, very good progress, and I'm very happy with that. I hope you guys uh, subscribe if you uh, like this video, and uh, you check out some more of my content, and have a great now, have a great day now, take care.